Can, can you talk a little bit about costs um, and, and economics of, of uh, small-scale LNG? Like, um, what is the next best alternative for some of these end users, and how competitive are uh, is, is small-scale LNG uh, in, in the marketplace today? It very much depends on the, the location and the application. Uh, there are times we're competing with diesel. We could be competing with propane. We could be competing with fuel oil. We could be competing with compressed natural gas. So there's a variety of uh, different users uh, and different reasons for using it. In some cases, uh, uh, you're not going to beat those. Maybe there's close by supply. Maybe there's other reasons uh, to do it. In a lot of cases, um, uh, there's at least uh, a parity of economics, but we're finding if you look across the curve, um, given the stability of natural gas prices and given the volatility of some of those other fuels that I, uh, that I mentioned, um, the argument for us is to make is, is, a, is a lower price and a more stable price through the cycle, um, which uh, is good on an economic basis. It's always good on a predictability basis too. So when they're marketing to their customers, they don't have to worry about what's gonna happen if they priced it X and their price of fuel just went up by 50%. So a lot of these are very fuel um, uh, dependent on their economics, and so some of that stability of gas pricing that we've seen in the U.S. Uh, over the last uh, five to ten years is really, or five years, has really helped make LNG a good fuel source. Mm -hmm.